Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing a ginormous haul of all the things I picked up when I was away in New York last week. There are a lot of beauty items. I did not think I would go to New York and have to buy a suitcase to bring back all the beauty stuff but I went to Ulta and oh my goodness I wish there was an Ulta in the in the UK so bad it was just heavenly I loved it but it was so so much fun I had a really really nice trip away if any of you weren't aware I went to New York to celebrate my 28th birthday with my friends and my family is that little Nala coming in to say hello hello Poochie come and say hello Oh, you smell sleepy, like you've been asleep. Oh. So yes, we were there for a week and I had the most amazing time. As I said before, I've been to New York, but it was very, very short. It was about 24 hours. I did not get to experience the city for all it was, is. So that's what we did. That's what we got up to. If you want to see the vlogs from that, then make sure to check the link in the description box. I uploaded three vlogs so you can see. It's basically the entire week like crammed into three quite long vlogs. So if you wanna go and watch those, do head on over after this video and give them a little watch just to see what we got up to on a more like day-to-day -day basis. One of the things we did get up to was a bit too much shopping. There was one day where myself and Mark went over to Queens to have a little look at the altar there because I do think they have an altar in New York but this particular altar in Queens had just started stocking Zoella Beauty so I was really really eager to go over and see it. I think when in the US you want to see your own products being displayed in a shop because it's kind of a bit of a pinch me moment. So we went over to Queens and we checked out the altar in the Rego Center and it had my Zoella Beauty stand and it was really really exciting but also once we were there we just basically did too much shopping. <laughs> Two bags worth <laughs> in Ulta and then we hopped over to the Queen Centre which was opposite and I bought some Bath and Body Works bits <laughs> and then there was another day where Poppy and I went shopping in Glossier and another day where I also picked up a lot of sweet treats from Dwayne Reed. So this is a real mixture. I feel like this is going to be a long one. Grab yourself a tea, a coffee, a hot chocolate, a little snack and run yourself a bath because we're going to be here for a while. Okay, let's start. Where do we start? Let's start with Ulta, I think. Ulta Beauty is essentially, for any of you in the UK, a really amazing shop that stocks loads and loads of beauty brands and just focuses solely on everything beauty. There was like hair, face masks, electrical appliances, fragrances, skincare, makeup counters, like it was just, it was amazing. It was kind of like a shop I've never really, I can't compare it to anything else really. Not even really like a Sephora because it has a kind of more drugstore-y type makeup in it than Sephora does, but it also has the really nice higher end counters the same as Sephora. So I feel like it was a really good mixture and is my new favorite US store. Oh, I picked up quite a few things. <laughs> I, I'm obsessed with sheet masks right now. Oh, I picked up these. I was gonna take these on the plane, but I forgot. <laughs> Tony Moly, My Little Pet Eye Patch. I just thought they were cute. Also, I'm really loving the Tony Moly brand. I just, I love all their weird, cool, innovative, like, designs and stuff. I think they're really cool. I also picked up this one. This is by Julep, and it's the Triple Quench Deep Hydration Sheet Mask System. So you start here with a gel that you put on first, then you do the face mask which deeply hydrates and repairs and then you do the sleeping pack which seals in the nutrients and the hydration. So it's kind of like a three step face mask but I really like the look of that. I also picked up this one just because it was so effing cute and this is Tony Moly again and again you have three steps. 
Oh, it's all a nose pack. Okay, it's a three-step blackhead care patch to keep pores clean and smooth. Oh, wait, here we go. Use after washing face. Take out the solution and closely place on the nose. Ah, uh, okay, so it's a nose strip pack. Very exciting. I also got this one by Skin Food and it is an egg white pack. Peel off pack for your nose, forehead and your jaw. So you pop it on like different areas of your face, which I thought was quite cool. So yeah, got that. I picked up some wipes just because I really, really loved the sound of these. Again, I wanted to take these on the plane and I completely forgot. These are the brand Pacifica and it is the Crystal Melon Makeup Removing Wipes Cucumber and Watermelon for all skin types. I just, I mean, cucumber and watermelon to me just sounds very refreshing. Sulfate free and paraben free, 100% vegan and cruelty free. Oh, I picked up this. This is actually a glass bottle very cute it's by the brand little barn apothecary which i have heard of before but i can't remember where and it's a coconut and mint cooling mineral mist i just really liked the sound of a cooling mineral mist oh that is a lovely smell as well mm, i'm gonna keep that out very refreshing next thing we have some more tony moly products these are the banana cream foam cleanser magic food banana and the banana peeling cream which i'm not really too sure what eh i thought this was a moisturizer and i was like i don't really know why they called it peeling cream i've just read the directions and it says after washing remove the water and take the proper amount and spread on the face after about three minutes, gently massage along the skin texture, then rinse with warm water when dense, dead skin cells and impurities are washed out. So is it like a face mask? Well, I'm glad I just read those directions before smearing this over my entire body. And then obviously a cream foam cleanser is just exactly what it says, but it is for your face. Cool. Excited to give those a try. I also got this... <laughs> mango sunblock mild sunblock 50 spf i just really like that it's in the shape of a mango and i oh my god this smells like holiday i want to book a hot holiday now <laughs> that smells like holiday oh my god love it i just love tony moly products they're so cool Oh, I picked up this. They had a lot of um, travel-sized hairsprays and hair products. And this is a hairspray that I used to use about 10 years ago. It's called Rusk and it is the Weightless Plus Hairspray. Extra hold, extra strong hold, shaping and control hairspray. And I just remember it being a really, really good hairspray. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I used to use that. I'm gonna get it. I also picked up some more of the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer in Fair Beige, because this concealer is incredible. They didn't have this in Sephora. They did have it in Ulta, so I was very happy about that. And I also got one in light because I used two different colours. So I put this one on my skin and I put this one under my eyes. I also got this. This is the Julep Cushion Complex 5-in-1 Skin Perfector with Turmeric. Just sounds a bit scary. A Cushion Complex 5-in-1 Skin Perfector with Turmeric. But it's got this little sponge on the end and I just thought, I'll give it a try. See what it's like. God, you always have to twist these things so many times before anything comes out. Yeah, I don't know. Can you smell the turmeric? Oh, you kind of can. So I will keep you up to date on how that goes. And that is my first altar bag. Empty. Bring on the second one, which is actually more full. Since I was in there to see my own brand, I felt like it was only right to buy something from my own brand. So. I did pick up a Zoella Beauty bath frosting bath milk powder and I also picked up the body pudding both of which are from the Jelly and Gelato collection and both of which are stocked which I think is so cool because it's kind of my most recent launch that isn't gifting and I love that they've taken these to put in their stores so that 
all my lovely American viewers can now go into Ulta and get the same thing, which makes me very happy. I mean, I didn't need to buy them, but I just felt like when in Ulta. I also got uh, some more Tony Moly things. This, I'm not too sure what it is, but it just looked really cool. <laughs> it's a ta 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 Taco Taco Pour Bubble Pour Pack Pour Solution. Octopus Bubble Mud Pack effectively cleanses away sebum from pores. <gasps> but just look at it. I mean, it's so cute. There could be so many of you watching this like, that ain't cute. Like that's not gonna look cute in my bathroom cabinet. But I think it looks cute. Oh, it's like a proper bubble mask. I'm not too sure how that, how well that lasted coming back on the plane, but it still looks airy. So we'll keep him there. I also got this, which is peach punch sherbet cleansing balm. Melting sherbet cleansing balm with sweet peach extract and fragrance gently and fragrance Gently removes all makeup, leaving the skin feeling moisturized. It looks like a big bum. It smells heavenly. Now, what else do we have in here? I also bought this by Tony Moly, and it is the Peach Punch Cleansing Water. And it says, no wash type contains pure peach extract. I kind of want to drink this. It's making my mouth water. <laughs> The mild cleansing water containing pure peach extract gently removes makeup. I mean, it's just everything that was basically fruit scented I bought. There's another thing here. This is the Tony Moly Latte Art Strawberry Latte Cream In Scrub. A, what is a cream in scrub? Color changing cream that takes care of massage and keratin removal simultaneously. Huh? Takes care of massage. I don't understand. Takes care of massage and keratin removal. Is this for your hair? <laughs> Might have to Google that one. Oh, it even has a little handle and a spoon. Oh my God, it smells incredible. It smells like strawberries and cowpole mixed together. If any of you watching this know what this product is, do let me know. I am gonna Google it before I use it somewhere I'm not supposed to use it, but. Oh, and then this comes out. I think it might be for your hair, but correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, what else did I get? I got this. This is another hairspray, kind of. It is by a brand called Sexy Hair, and it's called Big Sexy Hair What A Tease back comb in a bottle and I must have used this when I was 20, 21 and I remember it being incredible and again I saw it and I was like oh I'm gonna get that. I remember that being great and that was when I had long hair so if it gave me back combed hair then think what it could do to shorter hair. This I'm a little bit obsessed with. This is by the brand Skin Food and it is the Gummy Bear Grape Hand Cream. I just love it. And it smells so good. It's like that really like sweet grape smell that reminds me of sun cream that me and Joe used to wear on holiday. Oh, I love it. Can you see that I've gone for things that are very gimmicky? I love a gimmick, me. Oh, speaking of gimmicks, here's another peach. Peach hand cream. <laughs> so I've got my little peach hand cream and my gummy bear hand cream. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. Oh, so annoying though, look. It doesn't quite close where it's supposed to close. It's supposed to close there, but it's loose. So it closes there. That's annoying, isn't it? Damn it, Never mind. We have a Lorac palette. I do not own a Lorac palette, or Lorac, Lor Lorac, Lorac. And this is the Pro 3 palette. This comes with a little eye primer as well, which is quite cool. They had quite a few of these palettes and this was the one that I kind of leant more towards because the colors were much more me. But these are the colors in the palette. I've not tested how pigmented these are. I'm gonna do that now. <gasps> okay, the answer is very. <laughs> 
and they're also very creamy they kind of remind me of Stila eyeshadows i'm excited to try this out oh <laughs> peach punch sweet foam cleanser this is kind of like the banana one but this is for your face so when washing your face work into a lather and gently massage into the face and rinse off with lukewarm water Oh, I also got a Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play Volumizing Hair Spray as well, which is the mini one for travel. And then in the Too Faced section, they had these, which are the Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliners. Sounds intriguing. So I picked two up. I picked up Glitter Ghost, which is a very pink holographic shade. Oh my goodness. That is so beautiful. It is absolutely full of pink purple and blue glitter that's so cool so essentially you line your eye with this and then at the end of the evening you can peel it off rather than trying to wash it off i did put one of these on the back of my hand and i didn't find peeling off very easy so i don't know what it's like to get off the eyes and i also picked this one up which is lucky oh lucky bitch jeez and this is very gold glittery so and i don't really know why i did this because my eyes don't like glitter at all but it was one of those things i was clearly in a very gimmicky mood because half the things i picked up in ulta were just like crazy things so clearly this was kind of part of my I'm just going to go crazy and get some really glittery eyeliners that I have no idea when I'm going to wear, but I'm going to buy them anyway. That's it on my hand. It's very glittery. We'll see if I can peel it off. I also, from the Urban Decay section, they had these, which I don't feel like I've ever seen before, but they might have had them out for a while. It's the Urban Decay... De Decay. Why can I never say Urban Decay? Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Glosses. And I picked one up in SPL. This shade, oh my gosh, I've just remembered how gorgeous this was. I was obsessed with this when I saw it. I also really like the packaging. But look how beautiful this colour is. It's like iridescent blue pink glitter and i'm i've been really getting into my gloss recently so i just thought wow I'll bite the bullet and get a really glittery one to go with all my glitter eyeliner <laughs> and i also picked up this shade which is fireball it's just pink glittery i really love this packaging oh they're minty scented nice and then what else do i have in here okay so the only other thing i have in here is this which was my free gift for spending so much in ulta and it is the Too faced uh i think this is part of the new Too faced unicorn collection and you get this little bag and then inside and it came with this but this fell off inside you get a mini 24 hour shadow insurance and a mini better than sex mascara both of which i use and love so that was a really cool free gift i thought very cool i love how ulta and sephora both give free things when you like spend a certain amount i just think that's so cool that is everything i picked up in sephora no ulta oh i actually got this in urban outfitters this is by a brand called Fantasy and it's a blue glittering peel off mask. I actually bought this mostly because I knew Mark would love it. I'm not so sure about it. I don't, I don't know how I feel about glitter face masks. I'm just not sure. And I thought we were going to do it while we were in New York, but I haven't actually opened this or used it. So it says soft pearl ingredient removes sebum and skin impurities and makes your skin bright and smooth. But I just thought it looked really cool. Bit gimmicky again, but very cool. Oh, there's a spatula in there as well. Then we moved on to Bath and Body Works. I could have bought everything in there. I could have bought every candle. And I was like, no, I need to get these home. I am not paying for excess luggage weight. I'm just gonna get two candles. And also they really didn't have that many small candles. They were all three wick candles in this Bath and Body Works. So if you wanted a candle, 
you had to go with a three wick candle. The first one I picked up and absolutely loved was this one, which actually is part of the white barn range. Basically the Bath and Body Works was joint onto a white barn. So there was Bath and Body Works and white barn candles together. So this one is a white barn and it is the fresh cut lilacs made with essential oils scented candle from white barn. This smells like summer in a candle. I cannot even tell you how amazing this smells. I could sit here all day sniffing this. In fact, I'm gonna light it after this video because <laughs> it is just incredible. So that's the first thing I fell in love with. And because the candles were buy one, get one free, I was like, well, I need to get the free one. So after much candle sniffing, I decided to get this one, which is the Bath and Body Works Test Lab candle. They had quite a lot of these, all with very interesting scents. Scents that you wouldn't normally imagine would be in a candle. And this is the black pepper and kale candle, which Mark picked up just to be like, oh, smell this one, this will smell weird. And actually, I really, really liked it. It smells like a mixture between a very herby kitchen style tomato leaf candle and an aftershave that Alfie has. Like it smells like one of Alfie's aftershaves and that's why I think I love it so much. So it's got lush green kale, black pepper, palo santo wood, and purple basil leaf. It's a great kitchen conservatory candle, which is why I got that as my free one. But both of those, I think, are perfect to burn in like the spring, summertime. Then I moved over to the Bath and Body Works section. I was quite good, I think. This is the Gentle Foaming Hand Wash. It is the first bloom hand wash with white tea and ginseng extracts. This smells lovely. It has peony petals, lily, and green grass. Again, very fresh, but also floral. Perfect for this time of year. Then because there was also a deal, I bought this one, which is the Aloha Honolulu Sun Gentle Foaming Hand Soap with Manoi Oil. Um, this one is feel the ocean breeze and breathe in the fresh, the scent of fresh island coconut and Pacific palm. This just smells like holiday again. It's really fresh and lovely and perfect for this time of year. Then I bought two foaming sugar scrubs. The first one I bought was Sweet Pea because that's one of my favorite Bath and Body Works scents for body products. I love it. And then I also got Pretty as a Peach because yes, as you can see, I'm obsessed with peaches right now. I just love the smell. It like, I don't know, I love eating them. I love the smell of them. It makes me excited for summer. And then I got a shower gel. This is the Sea Island Cotton with Shea and Vitamin E. Oh, that is lovely, Sea Island Cotton. It smells a little bit like the Fresh Cotton Candle by Yankee Candles. What's that called? Cotton, clean cotton. It smells a bit like that, which is quite nice for a shower gel. I've not smelled anything like that before. And then I did the five for, uh, Actually, let me check the receipt and I can tell you. Five for six dollars. Well, that is just madness. So I got a thousand wishes, which is a scent I really like. And then we have the O oh Baby, which says clean and soft. This is kind of like a baby, a baby powder smell, which is really nice. Then I went for the Eucalyptus Anti Focus Antibacterial Hand Gel. Uh, peach Bellini. Does that surprise you at this point? Probably not. I'm going to be a walking peach. And then I also got the ocean one for Alfie. That's everything in Bath and Body Works. Oops, just smeared my hair through the lip gloss on the back of my hand. Nice. So as you can see, I think I was quite well restrained in there. However, I was not well restrained in Glossier. Myself and Poppy went to the showroom, which I had never been to before and ordered a few things. I got some free stickers with it, which is cool. The first thing from Glossier is this. This is the birthdaybalm.com universal skin salve, which is a skin salve I already love and use, but I have wanted to get my hands on the birthday one for a really, really long time, so I'm happy I managed to pick that up. Considering it was my birthday whilst I was there, I thought it was very fitting. I also got both the face masks, these are the Mega Greens Galaxy Pack and the Moisturizing Moon Pack. So yeah, I'm excited to give those a try. I really like the um, tops of the pots. They're really cool designs. Oh, I bought the perfume, which is now upstairs because I've already used that. And I bought 
the the body hero daily oil wash massage all over body on wet skin the oil will transform into a soft froth as it cleanses and then i think this came with it so it came with a pump i was just very intrigued by that and then i also got the body hero body cream basically the scent is just divine makeup wise i mostly just got oh i bought a sheer matte lipstick i don't own any of these i don't think and i got the shade jam which is this very dark berry colour, but they are sheer, so they don't come out this dark. It'll probably come out like a, quite a nice violety pink. I just bought four of these bad boys, the Lid Stars, because these are quite new additions to Glossier, and I have not yet placed an order online for them, so I thought it was quite nice to be able to go into the showroom and actually look at them. And I ended up getting four. These are essentially a glistening eye powder pencil cream <laughs> i'm not really too sure what the consistency is i've only seen uh like pictures of them but i really like the packaging they're kind of like test tubey these are the shades i picked up look at these they're so cool this one is a really beautiful kind of like baby pearly pink and that is slip this one is more of a coppery bronze shade and that is called Cub. This one's a bit more taupey and a bit more like brown and that's called Fawn. And then this one is a really lovely champagne -y gold and that is in the shade Moon. Oh, okay, it has a little doe for applicator so that's quite easy to apply on your lid. Lovely. They really like blend out. So I'm interested to see how these go on the old eyelids oh snacks i was like and that's it no it's not <laughs> snacks from Dwayne reed and other places actually i think some of this was from cvs i can't remember what was from where but this is what i picked up i bought some trolley sour bright crawlers because for some reason i was really craving quite sour sweets i always want to taste i always want to taste one They are delicious. Also from CVS, I bought three lollies. I've not yet eaten them, but I got a blue raspberry, a candy apple, and a strawberry banana lolly. I just liked how many different flavors they had. I got these from CVS. <laughs> I don't really know why I'm showing them in this haul because I did just buy them for snacks whilst we were there, but no one ate them, so I brought them home with me. It's Annie's Homegrown Organic Friends Bunny Graham's Baked Graham Snacks chocolate chip and chocolate and honey. They just sounded nice. I think maybe I'll try one of these too. Mmm. Mmm. These are just how I imagine they would taste. Really thin, tiny cookies. I really like them. Then, I bought these because obviously it was Easter while we were there. And they had the Starburst Spring Mix, which has strawberry patch, pineapple punch, sunny citrus, and cherry kiwi splash flavor. If I'm honest, I just wanted to try the cherry kiwi. Okay, I can't open that one. So I will try them another day. This was an Estee purchase. She put these in her Instagram story and she said they were the best thing in the world. So I was like, well, then I need to buy them and I need to try them. They are the Hostess Donuts Six Mini Donuts and it says a bakery classic powdered. So they're covered in like icing sugar. I'm really excited to try one of these. Oh, this is very flat. <laughs> I also picked up this, which is the Hostess Sweet Shop Brownies, M&Ms and Milk Chocolate Candies. Two brownies. I mean, they may have been brownies at one point. They're now just very flat. <laughs> I also bought some M&M caramels in all the like Easter colors because we do not get those in the UK. Cadbury mini eggs and Cadbury cream eggs, which do look different from the ones we have here. And I really wanted to try these and see if they tasted the same because so many people say that Cadbury's tastes different in the US. So I'm about to tell you if that is true. Oh, they do not look the same at all for a start. They are much more brightly colored. 
Mm -mm. No, these don't taste the same at all. That is so weird. The chocolate doesn't taste the same. No wonder everyone in America says they don't like Cadbury's. This ain't Cadbury's. I don't dislike them, but I was so interested to see if they tasted the same and they don't. How funny. They're still delicious though. I'm still gonna eat them. And then a Cadbury cream egg, which is smaller. Oh my God, it's so much smaller. Let me see if I have our version. I knew it. Can you even tell? <laughs> Probably not. That's our one. This is the American one. This has turned into like an American taste test video. Try one of these American mini eggs. I just don't think it tastes the same. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to eat healthy and that is just like... Let's my both mind try is this blowing. Let's both try this cream egg at the same time. I can't. Just one bite. I can't because I actually won't stop. Mini eggs released a statement recently saying we have not changed the contents of mini eggs. We've had so many people complain they taste different. In America? Mm. No, UK. I don't mm. think the UK ones have changed, but mm. those don't taste the same. There's no orange in it. It doesn't taste like the same chocolate. The inside is also more runny. Yeah, there's no orange in there. Normally there's orange in it. Gorgeous, you just dropped that on our dog. Yeah. Quickly, hold that. <laughs> this is still delicious. Let me see you. Mm. She's all good. I have to say this tastes more similar than the mini eggs. I'm just gonna sit and eat this now. Yeah. I'll tell you what. What? The fondant inside this tastes more like old cream eggs we used to have here. This tastes more like... <laughs> <laughs> this bloody window! Oh, their, their fondant is, a, is much sweeter. That's probably why it's smaller. So that is almost everything I picked up in America. The other load of things I picked up in America was from Sephora, but that is going to be a video on its own because there was enough in that video for there to be an entire video. Let me know if you are an American viewer and if you have used any of these things or if you have tried both the UK and the US mini eggs and let me know what you think. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. It really means a lot to me. But also make sure you hit subscribe. If you would like to be one of the first people to know when I've uploaded a video, you can press the little bell somewhere down here and that will notify you every time a new video goes up. So make sure you do that and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye guys.